my friends i'm happy to see you again and represent your very very fun lesson today we're gonna draw and then paint butterflies uh the reason why i choose uh, butterflies because they're very symmetric and the symmetry that's why we're gonna talk about this today a lot in uh represent in our life everywhere so uh this is my uh, butterflies i can find for you and also uh some of them here too uh some of them even like a kid's work uh here and some of them just a documentary uh, of the butterfly how it looks so uh basically uh what uh, the main part about symmetry you have to know that some subjects are really really well organized that means that uh when you see uh, one part of this uh subject or uh tree or uh butterfly or flower if you draw the line in between the other part will be uh, almost identical uh, and exactly the same or it might be not exactly the same but the shape of the object will be uh, in symmetry in sync to each other uh, and uh, you can see on this picture over here that's the butterfly uh, on this picture uh, has the symmetry of uh, one side compared to each other it's basically the same design on it it might be the variety because this butterfly made by some artist and it has the way how the colors lay out and that it has a little bit of uh, different uh, colors in uh, different spots but if from your first look because of the shape of this butterfly it's gonna be the same shape on one side and on another side so uh, uh to understand that better uh you you should just try and then you will see how that works and i want you to first to make a little exercise which is will help you understand the symmetry in butterflies and maybe later uh, for some other insects or birds or uh, anything which is you will actually it's going to be fun just to even look for symmetry in leaves because leaves are uh, they have symmetry uh, trees not always has that because some of the branches might might overgrow on one side and less grow on the other side because that's less exposed to the sunshine it's a different kind of reason for that but the uh, smaller the symmetrical piece the more likely it will be identical and identical it's pretty much like uh, identical twins they look like uh, each other but sometimes they have some differences and you if you carefully look at them you will see that so uh, for the butterfly lesson uh, first of all we will prepare ourselves for the drawing of it and we're just gonna make a little sketch and I will show you what we're gonna do so uh, our paper will be smaller than we usually have and then uh, we're just gonna make uh, the butterfly only on one side of this paper. So I'm just gonna uh, put them in the middle. There's two parts. I will divide this paper on two parts, just like that. And in one part, I will make the half of the body of this butterfly. And I will show you uh, this on a, a picture, how I'm doing that. First of all, uh, you have to put your piece of paper in a, a way that is going to be stable so that you can work on that. So my picture will be on my little easel. So I will start uh, with, uh, usually I start uh, with the line in the middle, which is help us to uh, see where the symmetrical uh, object will be divided on two parts. And so, first of all, I will make the head of the butterfly. And that's going to be the circle. Then, I will make the body. And body uh, looks like an oval. Remember, we were making fishes 
by the way, these uh, can be symmetrical too in the uh, design, but not always. Uh, so, and then our body uh, kind of look like a body of a fish, and on the end it just a uh, little extension on the little tail, and also the butterfly has a little antennas. The funny little whiskers on one side and another side. That's how she direct her flying. And this is gonna be the body of the butterfly. And then I will have her leaves. And for just um, conventional uh, butterfly, which is we are trying to do, it's gonna be uh, just a, a top wing, a uh, part of the wing will be a little bit bigger just like that and the other part will be a little bit smaller if it's hard for you to uh, draw this uh, just like the way how the butterfly look uh, you can make some help uh, for yourself in uh, the circle uh, so uh, you can make the circle first here and here and the same thing here and here uh, basically uh, better to uh, probably do oval remember from our graphic lesson we did ovals uh, for the drawing cob and for the waist so uh, this going to help you to kind of make it look similar. So, and also this line in the between all the part of the wings helps. And also horizontal line here will help you too. So, uh, that's going to uh, kind of help you to uh, start it right. Because we're talking about symmetry. So, uh, and then you can measure... If you did it right, for instance, mark on a, uh, your um, pencil where you started and where it's ended up in the middle. And then you just measure the other side and try to make it all similar. Same thing on the end of the high wing. We're going to put this uh, pencil on the beginning and then uh, and where it's uh, finished on the middle of the butterfly body. Same thing, we will direct this on the other side. So this is our point uh, for comparing uh, the symmetry of the butterfly. Same thing on the bottom, because her wings are uh, a little bit uh, more on the bottom than the end of the tail. So this is going to be the end. Point. So, and then you can draw the line to meet of uh, this another side, and then you can measure how much it takes here, and basically put the same amount here. So you can make the drawing of this butterfly very persistent by measuring, or you can just try to do it. With the free drawing, it's going to be a little bit different, but that's okay because it's in, in nature, it might be like that. So it's not exactly like a millimeter to millimeter. So uh, this is basically how your butterfly can look. And then you just uh, kind of make your drawing a little bit more um, highlighted so that you can see where to start and where to finish. So this is your butterfly and then uh, you can create uh, some design on this butterfly. So um, I will not go with a lot of details. I was just going to uh, kind of uh, point of that I will have, for instance, yellow with the black stripe here and that's going to be purple here and the uh, same thing will be purple here. And uh, will be, uh, that's going to be the beginning of the purple, and that's purple here. 
in the yellow right here and the yellow right here. So I want a smaller brush and for kind of point uh, to derive a spot with the color because I want to show you another option for making picture like that and it's more fun. And then you will see a symmetry uh, more um, obviously. So you will see that because what you're going to do, you basically will just work on one part of your butterfly in another part. Uh, I'll show you what's going to happen. So you might know that already. You probably did it at school before, but uh, this is because we were talking about specific subject. I will use that fun uh, way to explain you that so that you uh, kind of see uh, in example like that how symmetry works. So I will work only on the left hand side of this butterfly and I will just put some yellow over here and um, put some yellow like that and so then I will wash my brush and use uh, the purple I have this beautiful uh, light purple so I will use that next to yellow and that's because it's complementary color uh, it's going to kind of bright your butterfly really nicely uh, and then uh, I wash my brush again and I also will use the orange color a little bit of orange on my top a uh, little top of the wing of the butterfly uh, just right here and then I will wash my brush and I will use uh, the nice blue uh, very very bright blue color a little bit with purple just a little bit and then I will go basically all over the body of this butterfly with that blue and this is going to be my blue uh, kind of light purple with blue and this is going to be the color which is comes closer to the body on the butterfly and then that orange I had I will put a little bit by the body of the butterfly just to highlight uh, that part over here I guess not more because that's going to be a little bit varnished on there and the same thing I will put a little bit here and then uh, it's supposed to be the black um little stripes uh goes uh through the bo body of this wing so let me get that black over here and then i will get it on the it's gonna be also over here And here you have to do it very fast because uh, I'm not supposed to dry that part of the body where you're working because um, I will show you what we're going to do next. We need that part of the body still wet, and then uh, I get the gray for uh, her body. I'm 
one and one down. So now we come to a very, very fun moment uh, where we're gonna put our palette and uh, the brush. And what I'm gonna do, you probably know that, right? But I always still will do it because I wanna show you how symmetry works. Uh, we're gonna put together our parts of our butterfly, just like that, and press. Press very well, because if you don't, we're not going to get the image from one side to another side of the book. And just like that, we get on other side, pretty much similar image of the butterfly uh, part of these wings in the body. So the last part we we want to do to accomplish that, we just need to get that colors we use just to highlight uh, the body. But you you can see how that works, the symmetry, right? So you can see that if you just one part of your work, uh, you were made and when you uh, put this on the other side, that's what create that symmetry and uh, you can make a lot of very really beautiful butterflies this way. Uh, so uh, basically what I need, I need a little bit more purple to finish that side. And this make it easier for you to finish all uh, your work when you have that image on the other side already made so then it will be easy to finish the bottom one and a little bit of orange on the side right here and right here and right here and a little bit here. Uh, and the body of the butterfly need a little bit of support to me. Um, we get some gray color for the body. Right there. And also some black stripes. For some reason black didn't print uh, on the other side very well, but that's okay, we can uh, remaster that later and kind of finish the shape a little bit. And I think that it's nice to get a little bit of yellow too because yellow kind of eats up a little bit but be careful that you don't get the black on your brush and over here a little bit too and just like that we will finish our fun project with the butterfly don't forget that the, that's what the symmetry is. When the one side looks exactly the same as another one. And uh, the next project what we're doing today, uh, we're gonna work on our butterfly, but she will sit on flower. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna have uh, the uh, size of the paper which we usually use a little bit bigger than uh, what I use for the butterfly and we need a pencil to work on it and uh, the same set of colors which we usually have. You can add a uh, purple and brown in it because that will actually uh, ease up a little bit your work and don't forget to change the water and get the napkin to wipe your brush and we will start on your new project. 
for this uh, second lesson of the module number three and we are painting today with the symmetrical subject as the butterfly and the flower.